The monsters I'm after don't take bait on a line, so we're laying traps. And what's enticing them in is semi-fermented dead fish. Oof. Apparently, this is over 300 foot of water here, about 320 foot. Now, we just have to sit tight and wait for the feast to begin. The buzzsaw killer has the most elaborate dentition I've come across. The creatures I'm hoping to drag up from the depths here are at the opposite end of the spectrum. But they still have the power to horrify. The strings of jelly-like slime are a repulsive signal of our success. Lovely. These are coming in just covered in slime, and here there's something moving inside. I think the only way I'm going to get those out is to put a hand in and pull. There we go. Oh. Not the most pleasant of sensations. It's quite a big haul, and they're all the same thing. They're all hagfish. Hagfish look like giant worms, but in evolutionary terms, they're more like the most primitive vertebrates on the planet. What I've got in my hand here, this hagfish, is actually what could be called a living fossil, because in terms of body plan, this creature has remained pretty well unchanged for something like 300 to 500 million years. There's no bone in there. The skull is just cartilage. There's no eyes, just simple, light-sensitive eye spots. And the significance of that is that all extinct fish and all living fish would ultimately have come from something rather like this. Hagfish don't have jaws, but they do have teeth to rasp away at the carcasses of dead marine animals, which they eat from the inside out while sheltering inside their corpses. But even though they lack the dentition of more advanced predators, these primitive monsters are far from defenseless. This slime that hagfish produce, what the hagfish is actually doing, it's secreting filaments of protein with little sort of mucus globules um, strung out along them. And when this mucus hits the water, it just bulks up incredibly. And it's pretty clearly a defense mechanism. If you are a predatory fish and you grab hold of a hagfish, if you don't let go pretty sharpish, your gills are going to be clogged up with this stuff. So it, this is probably why these things have survived such an incredibly long time. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like the River Monsters page.